Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by, by Plymouth Girls Basketball's Megan McCarthy. How's it going? Good. All right. So I know the tryouts um, are done. Season's uh, kind of in full swing. The team's set and everything all set to go. How excited are you to start the year? I'm so excited. We're looking good this year. All right. So I, I know that you've had, um, if you watch the interview with Coach uh, with with Coach Ballard yesterday, uh, or a few days ago earlier this week, um, you kind of mentioned. Uh, of course, you're one of the only few returnees on this team. Just how excited are you to kind of lead a lead a pretty young group? But you guys have a lot of potential to be really, really good. Yeah, I'm so excited. <clears throat> it I was kind of leading the team like this summer when I couldn't play. I helped coach on the sideline, and I think that kind of helped and transfer over to when I could start to play and could start talking more on the court and leading on the court. Yeah. So kind of, you know, I know you've had your fair share of um, just, you know, coming back from injuries and like that and, you know, playing while hurt and all that fun stuff. Kind of how did this kind of all start? Like take kind of go back to like the beginning when that all happened. So I first tore my ACL in my sophomore year right before the season yeah. and I had surgery right away and then recovered and all that and I was looking good like the summer of going into my junior year and then all of a sudden my knee started to hurt so I went to the doctor and then he told me that it was partially torn my ACL was partially torn so we kind of had to go to a couple different doctors and get some more opinions and then finally one told me that I could have a chance to play I just had to go through PT and all that so that's what I did and then I played last year my junior year on a partially torn ACL with a like a heavy duty brace that I'm still wearing and just to like ensure that it doesn't retear for this season I have to wear it again yeah. but yeah how, it was a lot how much pain were you in during games I wasn't in any pain it was just it was the the worst part was that like at any point it could shift or fully tear so I actually during one of our practices um, I went up for a layup and my knee shifted a little bit it didn't hurt it just scared me so I kind of had to sit out the rest of that practice and gather myself and then return the next day and play yeah so coming back from all that for your senior year you kind of like you're kind of like this um uh, I know that I know that coaches kind of used you as this kind of like this inspirational player what, what's it like to inspire other people it's really cool. And it's really cool to hear him talk about his side of my journey and hear like different perspectives. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, this is going to be an interesting, you know, year for you, as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, one of, one of the only leading only, only one of the only seniors that are kind of on the team, but uh, I know some juniors got some minutes last year. And uh, I know there's a lot of potential in the younger classes as well. But overall, what what kind of team are you guys kind of looking like in the uh, in the next few weeks? I know, um, obviously, you know, get through Thanksgiving and all that. And and uh, I know you got some scrimmages coming up next week. And also the season starts, I believe, next Wednesday. We had scrimmages this morning. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, yep. The season starts next Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, I'm really excited. We look really good and we're playing together as a team very well our practices have been very competitive but at the end of the day we're all a big family and we love each other and I think that's really important to how we play like in games because we play very well together and we trust each other yeah how did the scrimmages go today um we didn't have the outcome that we wanted but we did see a lot of good things like from everyone everyone got to play everyone did like their job and we played very good together we did lose both games but we did well in the overtime tournament too yeah for sure um going into your senior year um just knowing that I mean can you believe I, I always like to ask seniors this um can, do you believe it can you believe you're already a senior no <laughs> 
it's gone by fast. It has. It always does. Yeah. Um, being a part of and looking at you know the league this year, obviously we've the the some of the biggest storylines obviously will be, you know obviously Heartland Brighton will have new coaches this year, um, but overall there's a lot of potential among a lot of the other teams. You know Howell, um, you know Northville's could have some pretty good year. Of course, you guys are also in that conversation as well. What's the what's the kind of just going to be like as as you kind of just get through the first few games. And then really kind of go after it once the holidays, uh, once the holidays wrap up. Yeah, we'll probably we'll work on just focusing on the next game ahead, and definitely um, playing Salem and Canton will be very good games. We're excited for those ones. Okay. And then districts, I think we have a good chance, and we're all excited, and we'll work towards that in the end too. Okay, so kind of explain to maybe someone that doesn't. I always like to ask, you know, PSEP students this, of course. The one unique thing about the uh, from Plymouth, Canton, or Salem is that they're all on one campus, and you can yeah. have classes with any of them in any building. Uh, yeah. What is that like? So, kind of explain like how like so explain you go to Plymouth High School, but you could have classes at Salem, you can have classes at Canton, and you can have um, you can have classes with all different people many of which who you could play later that night. Yeah, I so I have one class in Plymouth and the rest are in Canton. And in two of my classes, I actually have girls from the Salem basketball team on. So we kind of like talk to each other, like how's the team looking this year? And game days are a little <laughs> nerve wracking because you go to class with them and then you play them later that night. And then you have to see them the next week, uh, the next week too. What's it like playing for Coach Ballard? It's amazing. He's a he's a great coach and he's taught us a lot, not just in basketball, but like life lessons. We have Appreciation Monday that he makes us go around in a circle and say something or say someone we appreciate and then give an example. And it can't just be like, I appreciate um, this person because she made me laugh today. Like it has to be something specific. But like what, what would the, like what would that be? Like, I appreciate Elena Di Maria because in every rep, she pushed me today and she blocked some of my shots, but made me better. Something yeah, like that. For sure. Um, you know, going into, but here's the other thing. Bas do you, do you just play basketball or do you play any other sports? I play soccer too. What What's that like to play multiple sports going from basketball to, to soccer? What's that transition like? It's a little weird for me because I haven't even gotten to play um, for my high school soccer team yet because I tore my ACL twice and then my freshman year was COVID. But yeah. it was definitely difficult in the beginning, like playing club soccer at the same time as as high school basketball. But I learned to focus on whatever sport I was in now and – like if I'm at basketball practice, I'll focus on basketball. And then once I go to soccer later, I'll focus on soccer. For sure. Um, do you want to continue basketball, soccer after post high school? I've thought about it a lot. And I used to want to play soccer in college, but um, my coaches now are kind of encouraging me to try basketball in college. So I think I'll definitely keep my options open. For sure. And the thing is, um, in, in your first few games, you've got you've got some pretty tough opponents. You're going on the road for uh, um, you're going on the road for the first few games. Uh, um, obviously, you can I think you're I believe Thurston. I'm trying to remember when I, I know Coach Ballard and I talked about this, but I believe Thurston's one of the games, um, I think. And then, of course, the home opener is, I believe, Plymouth Christian. Yes. So what's a what what kind of. What do you want to see out of the first few games with uh, with this team heading into heading into the heading into the Christmas break? Um, I definitely want to see us play together as a team and then play more um, aggressive defense and really pressure teams. Like <clears throat> I think that's one of our strongest um, our strongest parts of our game is our like our press and our defense. And we have a lot of players who can pressure like different guards. 
And offensively, I think we've moved the ball well and ran our sets well. And I think we can continue to do that. Okay. Um, well, I think we have, we have a few minutes. Let's, uh, let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? Okay. Um, if you, and, and if you, if you've seen the 10 burning questions there, some of them are sprinkled in here. So, um, okay. On a scale of one to 10, how well are you at replying to text messages? <laughs> um, text, text I'll reply to pretty quickly, probably like seven and a half, but a lot of people use Snapchat sometimes and I'm not good at Snapchat, replying to that. Snapchat texts kind of work, kind of work the same a little bit. So I, I just kind of lumped all those messages together a little bit. Um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, I'd probably want to fly. Okay. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, what's your pre, what, what's, what's your pregame meal before a game? Um, my freshman year, one of the team moms would bring in like this Mediterranean, uh, food, like for the whole team. And that was really good. So yeah. like simply fresh in downtown Plymouth. Yeah. Um, if you got, if you got to pick any social media app to use and get, and you had to get rid of the rest, what would it be? Probably TikTok. Okay. Um, any basketball superstitions? Um, I don't think so. Okay. And the last one is, if you could tell your younger self something, something you know now, but didn't know then, what would it be? Um, I would probably tell her that um, me and my sister are like best friends now. I don't think she would believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's good stuff. All right. All right. Well, Megan, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Um, best of luck this season and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving as well. Thank you. You too.